the Arab kings and princes remain in the spotlight for their wealthy lifestyles and love of luxury. But do you know the women behind these figures? They are loaded with wealth beyond anyone's imagination. Let's take a look inside the lives of these Arab queens. Starting with Queen Rania al-Abdullah, the wife of Prince Abdullah bin al-Hussein, who is ranked among Forbes' most powerful women in the world. Well known for her philanthropic work, Queen Rania's net worth is $750 million at the moment. Rania graduated from the American University in Cairo with a major in business administration and started working at Citibank before being appointed as an Apple marketing employee. She met Jordan's prince, Abdullah bin al-Hussein, at a party. Both instantly clicked and started dating. Two months later, they got engaged and married in June 1993. Rania was welcomed and appreciated by people all around the world as a young, beautiful queen. She is a global advocate for health, education, youth empowerment, and women's rights. She stood up against the honor killing of women and raised awareness. She made her name by working hard with her foundation, QRF, Queen Rania Foundation, for the education and development of youth. The Queen also founded a teaching academy, a children's museum, and a healthcare organization. Rania is among those rare people who use their position to advocate for real-world issues instead of abusing it. Besides her philanthropic activities, she is also a New York Times best-selling author of children's books. Currently, this amazing woman is working as a bridge between the Arab people of Jordan and the Western world. Next on the list is the Queen of Morocco, Lala Salma. She is married to King Mohammed VI, and her net worth is $2.1 billion. Lala was raised by her grandmother after the death of her mother. She got her education in Rabat, and after completing her engineering degree, she started working with the famous ONA Group of Morocco. Salma first met King Mohammed VI at a private party in 1999. They dated for three years before getting married in 2002. The couple is divorced now. Salma is a laid-back woman who kept a low profile as a princess of Morocco, unlike her predecessors. However, it doesn't mean that she didn't work for her people during her tenure. She is still working and doing philanthropic work even after her divorce from the king. She supports many health organizations in Morocco. Salma founded the Cancer Prevention Association of Morocco, the Lala Salma Foundation for Prevention and Treatment of Cancer, and an HIV-AIDS awareness organization in Africa. Due to her exemplary work for the health and well-being of people, she was given the title of Goodwill Ambassador of the WHO. She is also an advocate for women's empowerment. In short, she too didn't get blinded by power and remembered the real issues during her period of royalty. Our third Arab queen, Sheikha Moza bint Nasser of Qatar, is worth $2.1 billion. She entered the Al Thani family in 1977 as the wife of Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the former Emir of Qatar. With several honorary degrees, she is among the most educated royal women in the world as well as the most beautiful. Moza is the co founder of the Qatar Foundation for Education, Science, and Community Development. She has also been the chairperson of the Arab Democracy Foundation. She is an active member of the UN and advocates for sustainability goals. Besides her welfare work and foundations, she is also a fashion icon among young Arab women. In 2011, she was ranked number two on the Vanity Fair International Best Dressed Women's list. She is also a part of Fashion Trust Arabia, which aims to work on women's wear designs. All in all, she is a beautiful queen inside and out. Another beautiful Jordanian queen, Queen Noor, is an active philanthropist. This American-born beauty married King Hussein in 1978 as his fourth wife. She attended schools in various states of America and graduated from Princeton University in architecture and urban planning. Noor founded the King Hussein Foundation, many youth empowerment associations, and the International Arab Youth Congress during her tenure. She also worked on environmental issues and climate change. She is a patron of the IUCN. Her main focus in philanthropic work is education development, awareness of environmental protection, and health care. She is also the New York Times best-selling author of two great books. After her husband's death, she stepped down from her role as queen. She still works on behalf of many international organizations, though.
When talking about Arab queens, Saudi Arabian queens always stand out. Born and raised in Riyadh, Princess Amira had no connection to the Saud dynasty. She completed her education at New Haven's King's College in London. She met Prince Al-Walid in an interview for a school paper. They married in 2008, but unfortunately, their marriage only lasted for five years. During her tenure, she was appointed vice chairperson of the Al-Walid bin Talal Foundation. She also inaugurated the Al-Walid bin Talal Village Orphanage in Burkina Faso. Princess helped the flood victims in Pakistan and also donated a huge amount for the education of poor children there. She openly advocates for women's rights and has been featured in many international magazines and newspapers. Besides that, Amira also supports international youth employment organizations and the economic development of her people. She was placed at number 4 on the 2012 list of the most powerful Arab women. Which queen, according to you, seems to be the most elegant? So this was all about the lives of Arab queens. Make sure to like and subscribe for more!